Just after logging into Brightspace, you are presented with the main page for yourself. This is your home page. It will appear different to what is shown here, but you will essentially have the same elements. At the top is a navigation bar, and one important area to note there is your name. Here you can change your profile and account settings. We suggest you go and upload a photo of yourself. This tiny photo is visible across the site and helps personalize it a bit for students. We suggest that you do not fill in your contact information or other personal information, as that is also shared across the site. The other important area to note is the list of courses you are enrolled in. Go over here to locate that. You can pin courses so that they are always visible. The icons up here are related to the various messaging features built in email and notifications. You are likely to use the notification feature the most. These notifications, which appear the same for you as well as for your students, are used to let you know that there is a new piece of content available, a new announcement, new grades, and so on. There is an email feature, but this is not a replacement for your TU Delft email. There are some limitations to this email system, which we describe in our other videos related to communication. So that's the home page. Now let's go take a look at a typical course page. Click on a thumbnail to select a course. Courses might be configured differently to mine shown here. There are some elements in common though. First, there is a course banner and that can be customized. We have a video on that. The name of the course is shown prominently. This course home link will bring you back to this current page, the home page of the course. It might look different, of course, to mine shown here, but you will see announcements for the course and some other useful information. Click on content to access the main part of your course site. It is here that all your course content is placed and that students will interact with your learning materials. They will interact with each other here as well through activities, assignments, quizzes, and so forth. Most of the training material in this website focuses on this content area. Lastly, there is a course admin link. The course admin area contains a list of functionality available to you in Brightspace. Everything that you can add, change, or remove in a course is available here. If you are ever stuck looking for a feature that you know exists in Brightspace, this is the place to come and find it. This course admin area looks intimidating. A quick tip, use the find function in your web browser to search for the word you are looking for. The course admin area is also grouped into categories and has icons to help you locate what you need. So those are the major elements in the Brightspace site and common to all courses. Our coming videos recommend you start by adding some content to your course site. Now that you know where to click to access that content area, you can already get started.